الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول وأول الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and عبد القراجي ستعيفو مسكين وظالم وجهل and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah a reminder for myself that from Ma'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Allah yeah, I think Surah 13 verse 11 and Surah Al Raad lightning and thunder that Allah doesn't change a condition of a people until they change what's within themselves. And the depth of Ayatul Kareem is uh, immense as in all of the holy verses of Holy Qur'an that have no beginning and no end. Allah's words have no limit, Allah has no limit and the depth of what Allah brings of creation has no boundary and limit. We are limited only to the capacity of our mind, most people, and the capacity within the heart to absorb Divine realities. And at a beginning level Allah is giving for us from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and the heart and tongue of awliyaullah that we don't change the condition of a people until they change what's within themselves. So dunya understanding everybody wants something to change and Allah reminding for us in Holy Qur'an that you have to change yourself first. Then the conditions around you can be altered and everyone wants to change the condition but not themselves. So they get up and move, they go somewhere else, they take a different job. Uh, everything in the physical and material world people will move around. It's much more convenient in their mind than having to deal with the self. And Prophet brought for us who knows himself will know his Rabb, that which governs you. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nur John, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh And before people think that their Rabb and their governance is by the Divinely Presence, the teachings that we have is no, it's the lower desires that govern 99% of people their desire to drink, smoke and inappropriate actions and inappropriate energies. Those are the lords that govern their reality and as a result they're not willing to get to know themselves. And as a result of not knowing yourself you're not changing yourself. And when you don't change yourself the condition will never change. Where you move, what you do, it's still you that you pack within your bags and move to your different office or whatever the condition is. So from the level of dunya the tariqah and the shaykh should be teaching that this is a way of knowing yourself. So the tariqah is specific to knowing yourself so then all the shaykhs have to teach muraqabah. That it's mandatory 
in tariqah to know yourself. Otherwise what distinguishes us from non-tariqah is what? We're all supposed to pray, we're all supposed to do the, the pillars of Islam. But when Allah wanted to give them a specialty, He inspired within their heart, go to the turuqs. They're specialized in teaching people to know themselves. And once they identify to know themselves, one can begin to know the sicknesses. And my sicknesses and what governs me that making that sickness, those have to be fought. The one whom doesn't reflect, doesn't know what the sickness is and doesn't know what is standing Lord over him. And the arrogance to think that, oh I'm a servant of Allah, even to even talk like that when you don't know that you're a servant to your vice and to the bad desires. That's the realities that Allah put within the tariqah. So then the shaykhs of tariqah, the concept of having a shaykh and a guide is to teach you about yourself. And so all of them should be doing that come and we teach you about yourself. So that you may get to know yourself, as a result of knowing yourself you'll begin to take the path to know your Lord. From the lower lords that govern us with bad character, bad desires and if at one point we can fight those and begin to attack and conquer them, only then may Allah send us support. As a result of the one who fights his desires, Allah sends a support. The one whom submits to his desires and becomes a partner with the desire, there's what is there to support, there's no fight. Allah waiting for you to fight, you become partner and become friends with the desire, there's no more need for a support, you have made your shariq with that character. Means the whole way of jihad al nafs and taskiyah and all of these words for Sufism and tariqah was that it was supposed to be a path of identifying your bad character, now fighting them. So when Allah giving an ayat to Kareem that this is the way of marifa, I won't change a condition. So now the whole nation come back and say, there's no meditation in Islam. Well then how would you achieve this ayatul kareem where Allah is just saying, I'm not going to change any of your conditions until you change yourself. Now you look geopolitically and look at the problems everybody has. Everybody want to change the conditions, they go pick up some rocks and I'm going to change the condition. You think that the rocks are going to change your condition? Or you left what Allah asked, you left the Qur'an, you left the way of Sayyidina Muhammad and you left the tariqahs and awliyaullah in which they're teaching, you have to change yourself. Only if you change yourself Allah's promise, we will change your condition. So then the way of marifa of what we tried to touch on last night but maybe went over people, that's why it has to be something to meditate and contemplate each talk to take notes, go back and look at that talk for at least two to three days, stay on that subject so that you're a person of tafakkur. As soon as these types of realities come out, don't quickly think about, I want to ask him about the paint of my house and what color I should paint my house. And is the salt is, is okay if I put it on my mouth or if I put salt on my hands? You missed something. So when we were talking with Sayyidina Musa he was waiting to meet Sayyidina Khidr But so busy, moving too fast, he missed it. So what happened to the fish? Oh I, oh, I forgot to tell you, yeah the fish that it jumped in the water and, and went. 
means there was a, a sign in the sharat that Sayyidina Khidr would be there but everybody misses it because they're moving too fast, they're trying to get something accomplished, some sort of recognition. This way of marifa is to hear everything, write it because this is like the kawthar, every word that you're writing your book becomes a fountain within your home because these are the haqqaiqs of Sayyidina Muhammad People are looking for other nations and other prophets, they are looking for chalices and cups and, and relics. The most powerful relic are the realities and words that flow from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad because they have an infinite capacity of blessings. So the one whom is a noble scribe, kiram al-katibeen, their nobility is above the nobility of angels because the angel of kiram al-katibeen they were created for that position. But the servant whom has free will comes to this earth and says, no, no I'm going to write only the garbage at the schools that they send me to and the false histories that they have given to me but I want to be a scribe for the heavenly kingdom and I want to scribe and, and write the words of the heavenly sultan, the realities of Muhammadun Rasulullah that becomes for those whom have an eye to see like a golden light, it's not even a white light. Anything associated with the Sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad is a golden light and then those books emanate golden lights throughout the home and wherever they are. And if you're writing and contemplating then what you write the angels are writing upon you so that you become a walking scribe of heavenly realities and a shower of golden lights continuously dressing upon your soul. Means these realities that are so immense and the dress of them so powerful that can't be understood and not understood by people whom they're not the people of tafakkur, these were the special category that we talked about in Surat al-Safar and Surat al-Kahf when Allah was describing, these are, these are uh, an elite group of people whom they stop and they contemplate. Once they begin to contemplate they understand the value of what's being given. So now in Ayat al kareem we go back that I won't change a condition of a people until they change what's within themselves. If we understand that existence are like the skins of an onion, just for you to understand. You hold an onion, there are layers of existence. In Allah al-Khaliq, the Creator, there's no beginning, there's no end. If a creation comes into existence, it did not take anything from Allah. Allah is not less one creation. Is as if it didn't come into existence, that bounty is still there. Means that at every moment because we can only think in our relative mind a moment, a fraction of a moment, one millisecond of a moment, creations are coming into existence. And that you have a reality in these creations and that you are existing in many different frequencies. If you view just to understand that in this onion let's say there's 10 layers because we don't want to go deeper people will be lost. The layer in which you're at you don't like the condition that in this layer I'm at these people annoy me, this thing around me bothers me. And whatever that condition is, 
it's exactly what Allah wants you at that level that your frequency is at. People are too busy thinking they'll change this layer of the onion. So they'll spend their effort to change it, go out and beat this person, say, stop talking like that, go out and anger this person, go out and change this and change that and they keep trying to change the layer they're on. When Allah is giving and now because of the people of marifah and energy and frequencies, Allah is giving an expansion, Prophet is giving an expansion that your frequency has to change. Your existence on that layer is not going to change, you're there but you don't want to be on that layer of the onion, you want to be on another layer. You want to ascend to your higher reality. Now look for a second at the atom. The atom has a nucleus. One we say ascension, the other one we're showing like it's going down but it's actually going up because the atom, the farthest ring is on the outside and the nucleus is in the center, it's an ascension to the nucleus, not a descending. So same for our existence. The ring of the onion that you're on based on the conditions that Allah has written upon that ring. And Allah gives because He says, I'll show you the signs on the horizon and within yourself. So on the horizon He allowed the study of the atom, that the electron of that atom it has an orbit and it continues in its negative charge on that orbit. Now the exact science of it, we are not trying to get into the science but just for those whom have the ABCs of science and understand, that electron is in the orbit, continuously in its orbit. It can complain all it wants, I don't like this, I don't like that, I don't like that, who cares? It's on a track, on an orbit. Not anything can change that orbit other than what they found out that the nucleus actually will shoot a charge of energy that hits that electron. And what happens with that electron? They saw it jump, I mean it ascended to the next level and next ring. It didn't have the ability to jump itself, it had to wait for an authority from the sultan. So what Allah says in Qur'an, if you can make the ascension make it but you need a sultan. Means he was describing your atomic reality. If you think you can leave your orbit just because you want to leave your orbit it's not going to happen. You need a sultan and on Mawlana Shaykh would describe, what is sultan? You, why are you making tafsir of sultan? Sultan is the sultan. Hamu sultan al nasira Well Allah describes in Surat al-Isra, you need from the authorized king a command at which an energy hits you and your one electron can jump on its mirage to your reality. Now in this plane of the onion and in this condition of my life that I'm not happy with, I spend either my energy trying to fix all these conditions and if you have belief well then the Qur'an is telling you, you're doing it wrong. You're wasting your time, shaitan is fooling you to change your condition. And that's why Mullah Shaykh they go to the UN, they go here, they go, they complain to everybody hoping to change their condition. They go to political organizations and say, free our country, now who are they? Not you can fix yourself nor your nation can fix by somebody else. That's why then tariqah comes and says, no, fix yourself. So means that 
when we understand tafakkur, what being taught to us and why is it being taught to us. Because this level of the onion is about to get really bad and really fast. And if you continuously desire to stay on that level, then you can complain to no one. All you have to do is change your own condition. As a result of changing your condition because the shaykh's lives are that reality. Oh they didn't come at this level and they didn't come from their mom with a, a beard on their face and a turban on their head. They came through the streets of their cities and grew up amongst the people of their cities. And the condition that had changed so much with their own changing, their own muraqabah, their own practices, their own zikr that Allah placed within them the shaykhs and the turuqs because the shaykh represents the energy from the sultan. And when they were trained to do their muraqabah at every moment and energy from the presence of the shaykhs hitting onto their heart, hitting onto their soul and as a result energy changing, energy changing, energy changing and they keep jumping the rings. And they would go from the first day we came to four or five years after tariqah as if conditions had completely changed. None of the characters of our life even existed in our orbit anymore. They weren't in our universe, not the people we knew, not the places we went, not anything that was familiar. Until 40 years later doing this because once you begin to jump these layers and these universes because they're completely different. People on each universe seems to be completely different and the old characters are nowhere to be found. And once you traverse all these realities you look back and your life looks like it was lifetimes ago. Because they seem so distant those universes. And they're all, all the characters who are on that first level of the onion, they remain exactly like that. Their lives are exactly like that, that sheet of the onion, only I changed and only my universe changed. And that becomes the miraculous nature of understanding these frequencies. And why Allah sent us to the tariqahs? Because these are the special paths, istiqamu fi tariqat means you are people whom have been given an opportunity to change your orbit. If Allah doesn't give you the tariqah you're not going to hit from these energies. And this is what Allah describing guidance, whom He guides, He guides. And whom He gives a light, He gave a light and whom He has not guided there is no guidance. In this reality they don't change themselves unless Allah has destined them for these teachings. Why? Because as soon as they make their tafakkur and contemplate and, and want to change the condition of themselves, they're not occupied with the outside condition. They don't keep emailing, oh I want to pray for this one is bothering me, that one is aggravating me, this one you're focusing wrong. It should be only the focus of yourself, how am I going to meditate, how am I going to contemplate, how am I going to bring more energy so that the energy hits me and my soul moved. And it moved and when it moves none of those characters are in that universe anymore. Because as soon as you change yourself those conditions are changing. You look to your right and to your left and it's completely different set of people and a different set of conditions and a different set of circumstances. And now these energies as they become more subtle and more powerful, the same now entering into Divinely veils. That when they want to learn how to connect and learn how to make their energy, their vibration becomes so strong that they enter into heavenly and paradise realities. 
and these are just veils apart. And the more they ascend they can look back to all the realities. But the one at lower can never look higher. The one lower doesn't know the station of the shaykh, he can only look to the ceiling of his veil which would be the feet. You're not privy to look above and onto the higher stations, you can only see yourself and lower stations. So it means that the reality and the immensity of why Allah giving to us fasting, why Allah giving us all of these gifts so that to raise the vibration that nobody can receive these lights and these powers and these realities, this dress. How you can receive the dress of Tawbah Qawsaini wa Adana from the miraj of Sayyidina Muhammad how, how anyone can receive that based on anything they've done? Nothing. But Allah wants to dress this nation with these gifts and with these lights. So the last te- 10 days of Ramadan they're making Qiyam al-Layl and all of Ramadan they're doing their taraweeh and meditating with the 20 rakahs. But tariqah is supposed to be doing that every night, the night vigilance and night meditation and night muraqabah. Not just 10, 20 days, 30 days of Ramadan and then in the last 10 days ihtikaf. Allah wants that for the entire nation to be dressed by these beauty, beautific lights and beautific energies. But then we see how gracious Allah is to us that He gave to us being the tariqah which every day and night they'll teach you to make your qiyam al-layl and pray and night vigilance and, and night meditation and contemplation. And that these only Allah are, are power oceans that if you should reach to them and the vibration that hit you brings you up through these veils which can be and the onion is very simple. But when Mawlana Shaykh would describe there are 70,000 veils between you and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and describe like the skins of an onion that you have to traverse these and resonate in a completely different universe. And as you're drawing closer the heart begins to see through its vibration the proximity to that presence. And that's why then the tariqah and especially naqshbandiyya is to keep the servant veiled. Where other tariqahs they may unveil or have no control to veil the student. And as soon as they reach one onion level up they think they reached heaven and they stop all their practices for dealing with different creatures, <clears throat> they lose their way to the Lord of power. The tariqah is to continuously contemplate, contemplate, connect your heart, connect your heart, do your seclusion. Not that you've been ordered to seclusion but you do it out of love that in the day and the end of the night you seclude yourself a little bit of time, little bit of time, continuously connecting your heart through love by the attraction of that love to the Divinely Presence, love to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and these energies begin to hit the soul and bring them up. And only through this attraction of muhabbat they can ascend into this presence. And because of the difficulty that coming onto these levels and onto these layers, the reality of muraqabah is to bring people out of these conditions, that raise your vibration to move out of that condition. If we understand that the lower conditions are going to be populated with satanic energies and satanic forces and, and, and demonic forces then why are you wanting to stay there? Raise your vibration, increase your, your love to this presence, to the Divinely Presence and begin to ascend. And the ascension is just moving through these veils. We pray that Allah give us greater, greater understanding of the 
<coughs> immensity of light and energy and frequency, inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.